Hey, I'm Kyla Denango and welcome to my office. We moved into this house in September 2022. We thought about turning this basement space into a bedroom. And then my husband's like, what if we made it into your office? All right, so let me take you on a tour of what I do when I am either recording videos on YouTube and I can also show you where I record the You Are Lawyer podcast. So let me show you around. I needed my own space where I could just daydream, where I could plan, where I could record, and where I could have some peace, right? I'm a mom, I'm a wife, we are in a very busy house, and I needed some space that was just all to myself. So that is why I chose the basement. And it helps that it's a furnished basement, so I have drywall and nice flooring and all the rest, but I was able to put my own stamp on it and make this space my own. I even like to give a little nod to the podcast colors, my brown orange chair, my blue desk, so yeah, this is the space where I come down here and this is just all mine. This space inspires me as a lawyer to be fearless because I get to create. I'm not a lawyer that goes to court every day. I'm not a lawyer that goes to a typical office. This is my office. This is where I sit down and work for eight hours, 10, 12 hours, right? Because when you're a business owner, you work long hours. You're just not going into a typical office with your coworkers, right? So this space allows me to be fearless because I get to come down here and play out all of my ambitions. Every single dream that I have, if I say, I think I want to make a shirt, I can sit down here and I can create it. If I think, oh, that would be a great guest, I can sit down here, I can brainstorm it, I can organize it. So this is a space where I get to be creative, fearless, ambitious, and that's really important because that's the entire point of the podcast and I get to actually live that in my life. This was a gift to me. When I received it, it was really ugly. <laughs> it was brown, the edges were all chipped and scratched, and I sanded it, I spray painted it, and I touched up the knobs, and it's one of my favorite pieces. It's so oversized. I mean, when I sit down here, I'm like dwarfed by the desk. I am incredibly busy. I usually don't have time for more than anything but one sentence about my day, so. When I know that I have to journal, I always use this one. This is my remote for when I record. Super important, that always stays here so I don't lose it. Paper has to be a legal pad, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> so I'm just really comfortable using legal pads. So I really enjoy having the typewriters here in my office. It's a reminder that I should be writing. It's a reminder that I should be reading typed words. You know, as I'm preparing for my book reviews, it's a reminder that I need to be planning and organizing for my podcast interviews. And so I love words. I love reading words, writing words, I love all of it. And I think that comes from being a lawyer, but I definitely loved words before then. So I enjoy having the typewriters here. I've even used them a couple times because they do actually work if you can remember to buy ribbon. So another favorite of mine is this cookie jar that's in the office. It is half filled with the fortunes of fortune cookies. So fortune cookies are so important to me because when I wanted to start my podcast, I was like, Kyla, you don't want to do this. It's going to be so hard. How can you do it? I created a fortune cookie account on Instagram and I told myself I had to post about fortunes every day for 30 days. And if I could do that, if I could come up with content, then I could absolutely start the podcast. And so I did. I started posting about fortune cookies. I did that for 30 days in a row. And also fortune cookies are really important to me on a personal note because my husband proposed to me using a fortune on a fortune cookie. Their importance is kind of silly, but the people around me know that I love them, and I like that they like to include them in my life. We were living in apartments when we got married, and I would work in the bedroom when my husband would leave the bedroom from working all day. So then I would go into the bedroom, and that was when I would be editing video, interviewing guests late into the night, all while my daughter was sleeping in the other bedroom. All of that recording, all of that editing, all took place in the bedroom office where we had my husband's standing desk, we had my desk that was stationary, and then we had the bed, right? So that was a complete working area. So this is a piece of equipment that I use every single day because even if I don't have a podcast recording, I'm doing voiceovers or I'm recording the intro for an episode that's coming out, all of the things. So I have my microphone here, which is attached, and I love that I can move everything. I also have a ring light here that I can always use when I'm recording. And so I can open close this, move it wherever I need. As you see, I'm here in a closet, <laughs> but it's the biggest closet I've ever seen. It's three feet by 10 feet. So it allowed me to have the space that I needed so that I can record podcast episodes. I put up some sound panels just so that I can have some dampening to the sound. 
and it really functions well. It's a perfect little hideaway if you just want to record a podcast, record some voiceovers, and not be interrupted. Do I have any plans to expand or change everything? Of course. <laughs> I love everything that's here, but I'm definitely making it work. You know, a lot of the furnishings are just things that I got from Amazon. Things that I would absolutely not change are the typewriters, with the exception of buying more typewriters. I definitely could always do that. I might upgrade my microphone in a year or two, but those are just small things. Um, but I absolutely love this space. It has been designed for my own personal taste, and I really enjoy being here. So other than just a couple of upgrades, I would leave the office as it is. So thank you for hanging out with me and looking at my home office. I hope you got some tips for your own office and please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can find out what I'm talking about next time. So I gotta get to work. Talk to you later. Bye.